Tinakoto Kato. I wish to address three general points, being acknowledging our staff, a message to our school community, and thirdly, to update you on the building program and the resulting challenges that we face. <clears throat> Firstly, acknowledgement of Mr Hart in his first year in the role as principal and the entire staff. I'm sure you've witnessed for yourself the greater focus on student academic achievement, but not at the expense of other aspects of college life. The school is proud of its cultural and sporting success and will continue to promote that as important for our young men. <clears throat> but so, alongside this has been an, added a greater drive to push academic achievement. This was the feedback your board received during the principal appointment process and feedback that Mr Hart has used as a focus for this year. Our NCA students have been provided predicted grades throughout the year to sit, assist them understand where they sit on the assessment chart. Priority learners are always a focus of the school. Now also those students who may be able to be extended are being provided with that challenge. Our years seven to 10 have been encouraged to strive through the Alpha program, which ultimately saw students successfully achieving at the World Scholars Cup in Melbourne. The efforts of all staff and students is to be commended. The school has many stakeholders, students, their families, staff, the various cultural and sporting interest groups, but also beyond the more obvious, to the local parish, Catholic school community, secondary and primary, the diocese, the proprietor. Mr Hart has meaningfully engaged with all of these and more to build closer ties and relationships for the wider school community. His visible presence has taken a huge amount of time and effort, well beyond what might be involved within the traditional working hours. There will have been very few, if any, events that Mr Hart did not attend in person. This has hopefully not unduly impacted on his family life. We encourage Mr Hart to spread the load next year. I thank all staff for the time, effort and professionalism you have shown this year, not only in, in driving academic achievement, but also your voluntary involvement outside the classroom. We are very fortunate to have staff so fully committed to all aspects of our son's school life. To my second point, the college community. The school listens to your feedback and encourages you all to be involved in your son's education as much as possible. It is a positive to see the very high attendance rate at mentoring meetings. The school not only listens, but importantly acts on feedback. We've seen it in the development of how mentoring meetings are conducted and the evolving methods of reporting your son's academic progress. Your voice is always heard. Your board has commenced a full policy review with a new online format. This will be a work in progress throughout next year. There will be opportunity to comment on these policies and we encourage you to do so. The school has also provided opportunities for community involvement with parent information evenings. The attendance has, at these has been somewhat disappointing. Can I encourage you to partake, to partake in any future opportunities that may arise? The subject matter relates to our young men and how largely we can best address issues that as parents and caregivers we may cross in daily life. If you cannot attend in person, then please keep fully updated via the new school website or Facebook pages. The college is now well placed to push forward in all aspects of school life. However, the school still has challenges to face. And to my final point, as you will have seen, the school's new administration block is progressing quickly. This will end the most substantial building program the school has undertaken with the gym opening at the commencement of 2017, new STEM block replacing the C block at the start of this year, and the administration block being ready for occupation at the beginning of next year. The current administration block will be used as further teaching space. I thank the proprietor for their commitment to the, to the building program. The school is now a modern, safe environment to teach and learn. I acknowledge staff and students for handling the inevitable disruption that accompanies a building program like this with professionalism and without fuss. 
Hopefully the cramped quarters, when the entire school was primarily housed in Mount Sion, are becoming a distant memory. It feels like we've met the light at the end of the tunnel. We are an integrated school, owned by the Christian Brothers New Zealand. We are not state-owned. The challenge for an integrated school like ours is for the most part these builds have not been undertaken using government funding or in our case consolidated funds or savings. Whilst the buildings may be completed, the payment for them is not. Compulsory attendance dues is allocated to such things as proprietor loan repayments. The financial challenges and constraints are a constant issue for your board. We acknowledge the work of Mr McCombie in handling finances in a fiscally responsible way. Whilst attendance dues cover loan repayments, it is a voluntary portion of the school fees that pay for school resources, infrastructure, classroom fit-out, ground maintenance, etc. These fees are essential to the function of the school. Can I emphasise that all and any contribution to the voluntary portion of the school fees makes a significant difference to the running of the school and the environment our young men are taught in. I'm sure you have seen the improvement in the school environment from the internal upgrade of the hall to the outside landscaping. There are constant costs that will continue as we look to improve the school's road frontage and entrance to provide a more welcoming appearance as a new administration building is completed. The new build has future-proofed the school for growth. The school role is at capacity. We had hoped that an increase in our maximum role might assist with meeting financial commitments and allow us to increase opportunities for our students. However, it appears that such an increase is unlikely at this stage. In general, the Ministry of Education appear unwilling to look into school roles, although next year we will continue to look into this matter within the local Catholic school network. To close, I wish our departing Deputy Principal and Director of Religious Studies, Mr Donnie Well, in his new employment. He has been passionate for the college and its students and provided a holistic view of the SCC man in this modern world. These assimilate well with Eden Rice charism, cultural diversity, restorative practice and the shift to 21st century learning <coughs> that are now cornerstones of the college. I wish the Year 13s and the other leaders well as they, as they embark on their next journey. Best wishes to you all for the rest of 2018 and for a safe holiday season. Thank you.